What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Kind of Table Soccer here and welcome to another tutorial video. Now this one is all about the three striped sock uh, rings at the top. So um, mainly you add the last socks with the three sock hoops at the top. Now it's a little bit different to how we would normally do it. Um, I filmed this as part of a Chelsea frame build episode. So it is filmed slightly differently, um, but the points remain the same. Um, you could use this technique for single bands, double bands, triple bands, or if you want to go all the way down the sock, you would just continue in the same vein. Um, if you don't know what this channel is all about, we do painting tutorials for um, Sputio. If you don't know what Sputio is, um, welcome for a start. But if you don't know what Sputio is, it's a tabletop football game. Um, this channel sort of specialises in um, painting, restoring, um, painting tutorials, showcases, using Sputio as... Um, pieces of artwork, um, we sort of pride ourselves in our meticulous detail work that we do and we create bespoke and unique pieces of artwork for people. Um, but this video, as I said, is all about the Adidas sock hoop. So without any more chat from me, let's roll the tutorial. Use this one as a, a demo for the Adidas stripes in the socks. The reason is because actually I've already painted them. Um, I painted them out of shot of the camera because it's really difficult to paint them with the camera where I've got it um, and obviously with this being a client piece I can't run the risk of messing up my client piece so what I'm going to try and do is show you how to do it on this guy so we're going to move Didier Drogba out of the way for a second and I'm going to try and show you guys how I do my Adidas stripes. Just gonna move my paint around a bit because as I said, it is seriously hot up here. I've got the fan on normally, but I've turned it off because if I had the fan on right now, you'd think I was in a wind tunnel or I was painting. Oh, just knocked into the table. Apologies for the wobble. Um, yeah, so as always, I hold their heads. I wanna get Here's my paint, by the way. My mum said to me the other day, she goes, oh, when you were talking about paint loading, you never actually showed yourself paint loading. So here is uh, my paint. Now, what I'm going to do is dip, right? And I've got loads of it on there. And I'm just going to get it off on the edge of the tin so that I've got a pointy brush with some paint on it. There you go. I've showed you. Mum, I hope you're happy. Um, so, yeah, I hold their heads. I get my pointiest bit of the brush. I put it down and I drag it around okay there's one I go back into my paint this time I literally just kiss the surface of the paint because I don't need it in the brush this is so awkward doing it right here I keep hitting my paintbrush on my phone as well so that's really irritating again so that's that one just a little kiss on there Turn it, pointy bit, drag it around. I appreciate this figure is not the cleanest, so it's difficult for you guys to see these lines. And I'm also talking while I'm doing this, which is usually something I don't, I don't do. Um, but you can see there the two white lines dividing up the three white lines. Um, but that's kind of how we do it. I always do it in stages. Um, just because of, see, I've just hit my phone with the cat with the brush again. It's so close, honestly, it's, this is so difficult for me to do. And so beauty of figures are a slightly different shape to Santiago's as well, which makes them pretty annoying. I'm trying to get these two lines to meet up, it's so difficult at this angle. There we go, we got it. So now we've got to do is connect them together. Again, I'm shaking all over the place because I'm just not used to painting at this angle. So apart from that first brush dip where I fill the bristles with paint, okay? When you're doing tiny little details like this, once you've got that paint in the bristles, what it kind of does is sets them in the position that you want them. Um, so what I'll probably do is I'll have this in the Chelsea video, but I might even bring this out as a separate video. So you might see this before the Chelsea one. 
I see I've overpressed there. I knew that was going to happen. Okay, so you can see just down here where I'm holding it so far away from me, I've overpressed. Um, that can happen sometimes when you're painting. It's annoying when it does. What you can do, and what I've showed you guys before, so in a way, it's a good thing that I've done it, is I get a really sharp blade and I just come in. rest it in where I want it and there we go we have three Adidas stripes around these socks now I think you'll agree they're not quite as tidy as these ones or maybe you won't agree they are tighter than these ones but those ones on Didier Drogba were a lot easier to do um, on the second sock the technique is slightly different just because of the angle but essentially it's the same um, but with the second sock, I start at the back. So again, here's my paint. I dip it in. I move it. Now, I might have to do this more than once because they might not go to the shape that I want. Whereas, see, now I don't have the shape that I'm after. So, out of there. Get the paint off where I can. Stick it in my mouth. Get the paint on the end again. Move that out of my way because it's now in my way. So yeah, I start at the back on the other side. Still start at the top line. Just hit my phone again with the brush. That's good, isn't it? Just gonna kiss the top of the surface with the paint. Do we get a little bit more? I've done it again. Guys, I'm so sorry. Honestly, it's so close. Maybe I'll go further away and zoom it, but then it's, it narrows your your shot, your field of vision. So that's where I go on the back. The difficulty comes when I'm trying to get it to come around the front because from here I can't see them. So this is where I change my position and I hold him at the bottom rather than holding his head. And I need to try and just drag that line around and find it. It's not easy, I said, this is so difficult to do. One, because it's ridiculously hot. Two, because I'm doing it in a position that I'm not used to doing it, because I'm trying to show you guys kind of how I do it. So I've managed to get them lines to join up now. Hopefully I'm in shot still, yeah I am. I haven't moved him out of shot, that'd be really annoying. So I come around here. These this one's this one's rubbish to be fair. They're too thick. They're a lot harder to do. As I said, it's very difficult for me to show you exactly how I do it. And they're not bad. So there we go. There are some sets of Adidas um socks now. Hopefully the base isn't in the way, but this guy here, he's got some little issues up in here. I'm going to try and clean them out with a knife the same as before to try and tidy it up to show you that it can be done. But I'm going to have to do that off camera because I'm probably going to go wrong. Um, so yeah, I'm going to jump cut it. So yeah, there you go. I've tidied them ones up um, so you can see how it kind of works and fits together. Um, but that's that with this bit. Um, now we're going to jump over either to the end of the video or to Didier Drogba, depending on which video you are watching this in. Okay, so that is the end of the tutorial. As we said, filmed a little bit differently to what we would normally do, um, but hopefully um, from within that, um, you guys have got some information and some little tips there that will help you guys out there that are painting your own stuff to get those three stripes as high up the stock as you can get them. Um, to keep them looking like the Adidas sock. Apologies as well, there are points in that, especially towards the end on the second sock where you actually can't see my paintbrush hitting the figure. Um, as I said, some of these tutorials are really difficult um, to film because as the camera gets in my way, um, I can't actually paint it, but hopefully it's been useful for you guys. Hopefully it's gonna help you guys out. 
Um, as I said, that Chelsea episode comes out in a couple of weeks' time where we're looking at a few more from the Chelsea historic kit frame. Um, but that's the end of this video, the end of this tutorial. So please, guys, if you have enjoyed it and it has been useful to you, please leave a thumbs up, leave a like. The more likes I get, it kind of gives me a rough idea of you guys are liking the content I'm putting out, so I make more of it. If it doesn't get a lot of likes, um, then it probably means that you guys aren't enjoying it that much and we won't put it out there. If you have any questions, um, relating to this video any other videos please throw them in the comments or you can tweet us at westward underscore ts or you can email us westward.ts at gmail.com i may have got those pointy pointies the wrong way around it doesn't matter um or you can go online and check us out at westwoodtablesoffer.uk um if you haven't already please click subscribe we are well on our way hopefully to hitting 500 um and then we'll be halfway to our 1000 subscriber initial target and when we get to a thousand guys we are going to give away a 10 figure um, frame to one of our subscribers so get yourself subscribed once we have hit a thousand we're going to make a special video what i will then ask for is that you guys send me proof that you're subscribed because i can't see who my subscribers are okay so what i will ask for is a print screen um, email to me so that I can see that you're subscribed to the channel and then we will do a random draw um, and we'll film it and then that person will choose which team they want. Once we've done that, we'll select the kits, we'll create the frame and we'll get it over to you um, to celebrate reaching 1,000. Do not forget guys, we are coming now, we are about midway through August, we are coming towards the end of August which is when our 10% discount code at oldschoolfootball.co.uk ends. It is still available. Westwood 10 at checkout will get you 10% off. By the way, a little bit of love for this 90-92 Leicester City home shirt. Original, pretty good condition actually. Um, again, classic 90s, massive sleeves. And in the background, whoo, the beauty of the Rail Betis away shirt. Guys, there's nothing else for me to say except thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you are new. Till the next time, stay safe.